All right, what is going on, guys? It is Adam, a.k.a. Marf, and tonight's show is going to be loaded. We have live callers at 2244 marf and we're going to have all of the current events. So stick around, Fugle fam. We will be right back. Nothing in the show should be considered legal, medical, or financial advice. The views of the callers can differ considerably and do not necessarily reflect my opinion, Dex's opinion, or anyone else who works with the show. You should always do your own research and consult with professionals. The internet is full of fake news, so please take everything with a grain of salt. If you have not already, it helps us out if you end up going through any of our affiliates, and it helps you out if you end up protecting yourself against cybercrime. NordVPN is one of the best and one of the easiest to use. If you do not have a virtual private network, it protects your IP address, which is your online identity, which actually connects to your real address and everything else. It also connects to you. If you know anything about how they are data logging and basically getting your profiles down, you can prevent that by having a VPN. Nord is, again, one of the easiest. Download it. It's like an on switch and off switch. All you have to do. Go to marfuglenews.com slash VPN. Not only will you get a giant discount on this, but you will also be helping us. I appreciate your support, and I appreciate everyone that goes through any of our affiliates. I uh, can't say thank you enough. What is going on, guys? It is Adam A.K. Marf, and this is Marfugal News. We have a live show for you tonight, and it is calls. So remember, if you want to call in tonight, it is 224400 Marf. Now, if somebody brought you to my channel and you are not familiar with how it works here, uh, remember uh, that you can always go over to our website and get notifications. I saw someone in chat earlier saying, how do we know when the show is live? If you sign up for these notifications, you will get a direct notification uh, through Chrome. That is again at marfuglenews.com, and that link is in the show notes and with everything else right below me on YouTube. Uh, YouTube. Now, when you go over to our website, you will see it's very easily organized. It is all done by thumbnail. So you will look for tonight's thumbnail, which is, uh, of course, rock, paper, scissors. And uh, then you will click on it. You will see that we have every single article, tweet, video, picture, or whatever it may be, we end up putting it over there. So you have a full bibliography of all of the sources. That way, you know exactly where your information is coming from. Now, on top of that, once you hit a yellow bar, you will see that it is essentially all of the stuff that is too hot for TV, all of the stuff that uh, essentially is too far to one direction for us to cover. And then over on the right side of that page, you will actually see all of our affiliates. So if you do see a product that you want to get or that you've already been thinking about, if you go through us, then you can help your favorite channel at the same time. Now, again, there's a whole nother show at the web only content stuff, so make sure to go check it out. There are more people checking out our website than watch us live every single day, so make sure to go over there. All right, let's bring in my co host slash uh, uh, internet brother slash on the phones tonight at 2244 Marf. Dex James, how are you doing tonight and what's going on? Well, hello, Adam, and hello, Fugle fam. I am doing just fine. So we're going to get right into the news. Remember when you push 2244006273 on your phone, and then uh, once you get into the line, you'll have four options. Make sure to press option four. If you want to get in quicker, just press option four once you come to the phone tree. Then it will bring you over to Dex, <clears throat> and you'll be able to get on the show. Uh, let's talk about Comet Leon, uh, I guess Leonard. Uh, somebody was calling it Leonard on uh, Twitter, which was pretty funny. Uh, Comet Leonard was disintegrated or has disintegrated. Now, one thing I thought of when I saw this is, uh, of course, Dex and I talked about this before the show. Uh, some comets, uh, well, all comets eventually uh, die, I guess, right? They they melt away or they'll go around the sun and they end up dissolving their, their ice crystals and all sorts of other stuff mixed in. Uh, this one just happened to be discovered in 2021 and then briefly uh, was a spectacle. There's all sorts of crazy pictures of it with the crazy tail and all that. I just thought it was funny that we see it and then just about a year later, 
it has disintegrated. When you're looking at these, they can live anywhere from 2,000 to a million years. Uh, most of them are around in the 2,000 year lifespan. And I just thought it was interesting that we have all of these ast astrologers looking out to the skies. We happen to see it and then it disintegrated. It reminded me of last year when we had that comment. And I want to say it was Atlas. Maybe it, maybe it was around the time of Atlas around this. Yes, it was Atlas, right? So Atlas ended up getting brighter and brighter. And they said that it was going to get to a point where it was so bright that it was as it was going to be as bright as the moon in the sky or in the night sky. So we were thinking we were going to see this just insane thing. And they said they had never seen anything like it. It was just getting brighter and brighter and it was going exponentially uh, brighter and brighter. And then all of a sudden it just fell apart. And that was, I, I want to say, w that wasn't a comet though, was it? That wasn't, that was an asteroid of some sort? Or no, it was a comet. So it was a comet as well. And then, so now we have two that were discovered and then uh, just so happens that out of their huge lifespan that's thousands of years old or millions of years old, we just happened to see it uh, disintegrate. In fact, like on a Tuesday, they said it was getting brighter and brighter. And then uh, by like Wednesday, they said it had just broken apart. Uh, that was kind of suspicious to us because we actually looked at how far it was. Uh, that was the one that had the two tails, if you remember that. Uh, we looked at how far it was, how fast uh, our rockets go, or how fast they say our rockets go, and we actually timed when it disintegrated uh, back, and you take the the speed that our rockets go, and how you know how many miles they can go in a day, how far it was, and we went back, and Dex was able to find several launches with secret payloads. So we just thought that was a little bit interesting. Uh, now, hypothetically, what if they really did have a system? They already have DART. DART is very public. The double asteroid redirection test. Uh, what if they have already been trying these out? What if there's something on its way that we don't know about? The only reason I say that that's a possibility is because I absolutely know they would not tell us about something. It would be a don't look up scenario until the very last second. In fact, it wouldn't even be like don't look up. I don't think that they would tell us until it was about to hit us. Uh, it would be more like a, I don't know, it wouldn't be a deep impact. It, uh, I think deep impact, they told them like a year earlier. Uh, you would see people rioting. You would pe see people going nuts on the streets. You would see people stealing, thieving. Um, basically, it would be hell on earth. And the reason I say that is because we've seen it when there's smaller announcements. Imagine if they... Uh, if people believed that they were going to be, you know, ended, that the whole planet was going to end. So I, I do have my own theories. And just like you, you probably have things where you tell your friends and family and they think you're nuts. One of mine is that I believe that they have the knowledge of something that is going to hit us eventually. And I somewhat, it's like a 40% belief that that is why a lot of this is happening and a lot of the power structures are getting changed around on top of many other things, including uh, the small group of people that re you know really run this planet. So either way, Comet Leonard uh, leaves behind a legacy. Again, it said that uh, it was discovered by Gregory Leonard, discoverer of Comet C-2021A1. So that has disintegrated. There was some really cool pictures. Dex, is it possible um, when you get a chance, uh, and I know you're probably already on the phone, uh, but when we get a chance to, to show a picture of this, I, I sent you some pictures of the tail of this thing, and it was really uh, it, quite beautiful. And then uh, we will go into the next piece. Beware of wartime fake news triggering a run on the banks. EU banks told. So I'm going to tell you why this is so important right now. This could very well be used in Europe right now as a reason to get rid of people. Uh, right when uh, both Dex and I saw this, the first thing we thought of was this is how you could shut people up. Uh, it says that essentially that uh, fake information about you know the, the bear winning in UKR... Uh, or just anything, f fake info, could cause panic and end up causing people to go run on the banks and withdraw all their money. 
It says that banks should be aware of fake news that could trigger a run on their deposits. The European Union banking watchdog said in a warning on Friday about potential fallout from the conflict in UKR. It says, quote, as market sentiment remains highly volatile and driven by news flow, banks liquidity levels can become vulnerable due to the spread of inaccurate information. It's uh, again, it, by the way, the bank's liquidity levels means how much money and cash they have on hand, right? That, they're, they're saying that uh, the information going out, if it panics people, uh, it, it could cause people to pull out their cash. And then all of a sudden these banks are like, oh my gosh, we don't have your cash to use and to make money off of. So they, uh, they are saying that this is a big risk and they're telling the banks this. What this could also be is anything they disagree with, they could say, hey, this is causing a panic or this is causing a run on the banks and they could, uh, I, I believe, could potentially uh, make something that could censor out of this. It says such campaigns that spread inaccurate information may result in deposit outflows from targeted, right? So if they say, you know, so-and-so bank is, is having problems or whatever because of, of you know, uh, the bear invading UKR, I don't know what examples they are actually using in this, but I do see something hidden behind it. Uh, do you, do, when you see this, this, uh, when you see these messages, what do you think? And then Carol McLean says, Marf, you have helped more people than you know. Lots of love, Marf, Dex, and Mods. Carol McLean, I appreciate your massive support. Thank you so much. And I guess thank you for helping us right back. I, I really do appreciate that. And then Bible Talk 777 says, walking down the street looking for a tree. LOL. And Neil Nelson, thank you for being the last one out. Uh, a few times, actually, last show. Thank you. And then Melanie White, 1958 uh, pound. Uh, let's see, Jay Elsley, Wanda, Wanda Rowe, and Tina Zimmer, thank you for subscribing. As always, if you subscribe during the show, you do get a shout out. I appreciate all of the new people that are popping in. And I usually shout you out so the the rest of the audience can welcome you into the, into the fam. All right, uh, let's move on to the next what do you think about this again this is something that is something we've kind of talked about and think that is going to happen eventually which is a run on the banks and then my Mari from south mexico is u.s lifts the cv ban so as you know we showed the data yesterday and it was already super super high now there is another thing title 42 or whatever this thing is that is going to be lifted and it, they say, is going to cause a ginormous influx of uh, people coming over because uh, before it was like there were already a ton of people getting through. But essentially what these CV rules did is it sent, it, sent away a bunch uh, right off the bat because of the CV. Now that's not happening, or at least uh, when, when this is all done. It says some 500 mm, from Central America, Venezuela, and elsewhere fought with Mexican police, National Guard, and immigration officers in southern Mexico Friday in one of the first such marches this year. The audience described the march as a traditional annual protest related to Holy Week, and those at the front carried a white cross, as others have done in previous years. However, this year, the protest came two weeks early, and some participants said that they would go far beyond the usual short march and try to reach the U.S. border. It says in a clash with the National Guard officers and agents, the migrants used the cross that they were carrying as a battering ram to break through the guard lines, shattering the wooden uh, cross. It says the officers who had riot shields, batons, and what appeared to be irritant spray detained some of the marchers, and then the two sides exchanged blows, and any migrants left behind knapsacks in the melee. So, one thing about this, and with the huge number that is coming through, and now uh, essentially a lot of them are going to end up getting right through and right in, um, if they do get detained, uh, I I don't want to say all of them, but a majority actually get directly released. They have some sort of information. They get information from them, and then they end up releasing them. Uh, so people know if they do get to a certain point that they're kind of like, and not I guess not home free, but they're over and they will be released inside. Uh, and then certain scenarios that that happens. One big part with this is 
uh, it's not so much the normal people looking just to to get in and and to go over that way. Another thing that we are looking at is, of course, the I country and other countries have said that they are going to get uh, T cells in, and a lot of these people that mean very very bad harm to the country that are sneaking in alongside all of those people that are just looking for a better life. Now, I know there's a ton of people that are just trying to live somewhere better or get away from a terrible situation. Uh, I I know plenty of folks who are not uh, official uh, citizens of this country. I've worked with uh, plenty of people from all different kinds of countries. In fact, uh, when I worked at a tourist uh, attraction, I knew people from every country, from you know Russia to uh, to Norwegian citizens that snuck in. Uh, but again, there are bad, bad, bad people, and there has been warnings for years. Under the T-Man administration, we were warned that the I country ran to the store. They were planning something so big that T-Man said, uh, the previous president said that it was something that would make 2001 September look like chicken feed and that it would make it look like it was a Cracker Jack box uh, in comparison. So something massive, that was what triggered them to take out Soleimani and Soleimani was the number one guy. At that same time, they did a simultaneous uh, strike on his second hand man and they missed his second hand man. So that second hand, uh, the, the, basically the second in charge, he survived and we don't know if he's continuing that plan. We do know that there are massive plans against the United States. Whether the United States is involved in those plans, I don't know. But I do know that there are definitely windows for scary things to happen. As we've seen, history repeats itself over the last 20 years. We have seen time and time again these crazy, scary things happen out of nowhere. And then those crazy, scary things are then used. Uh, they, they never let it go to waste. They usually use them to change things as far as laws and had the way that we uh, the way that we are managed or the way that we are monitored ever since 2001 we of course have had homeland security and uh, the patriot act so those all went into place after september of 2001 and most of you are probably in this chat right now uh, because of september 2001 and your mind was opened and then we have eric schmidt's alarm it says that Eric Schmidt, a uh, very big name, most of you know, uh, obviously has taken on big challenges before fighting Microsoft when he led Novell and taking on Brussels when he was CEO at the Oogs. It says today the billionaire is focusing his energy on rousing the U.S. to fight what he sees as its biggest tech struggle yet, competition with Xi. So I've mentioned this in many ways, uh, not saying that I'm, you know, think that this dude's an awesome guy because he was a CEO at, at Big Dog Dukes. Uh, but at the same time, this is what has been on the back burner forever. This is what we've talked about for three or four years. And this is what I was just mentioning on the video earlier as far as competition uh, with Xi. And we're talking about in technology, in AI, in all sorts of things. What's funny though is I believe it was him that was at the helm when they worked on like Maybe that was, was that Facebook? Either way, Dex, if you uh, if you overhear this part, uh, Dragonfly, wasn't that them? They like made a search engine and a bunch of people got pissed off that they were even helping uh, Xi make a censored uh, search engine? Yes, I believe that was the name, Adam. Yeah, that it seems kind of funny. Uh, but maybe because of that, he knows a little bit more than the average person. And maybe that's what uh, what what was going on there. What they're saying, it says, quote, we have to do whatever it takes. He told Axios in an interview in Washington, D.C. on Wednesday, in Schmidt's eyes, has already become a peer of the U.S. and has a clear plan for how it wants to dominate critical fields from semiconductors to AI. It says uh, also in clean energy and biotech. Uh, biotech, by the way, if you look at what the DHS request was before December 5th, it was all of these weird things and really it painted a picture. Uh, I've talked about this many times, but anybody that's new, there was a request to small businesses and by small businesses, I mean small manufacturers, uh, small warehouses and factories that make things 
Uh, so they were requested to come up with uh, multiple different things, submit their ideas, kind of like how they find military tech at these different conventions, these tech conventions, right? Well, they specifically reached out to all those same companies that do those techs, like like how they found um, they found uh, you know DJI drones at one of these conventions. They found uh, different uh, different technology for tanks and for uh, camo and for uh, you know, breastplating, you know, dragon plating of, of uh, bulletproof vests and things like this. Uh, usually they would find them at these conventions of these smaller companies and they would have them develop. Well, they asked for a, a uh, really a short list that paints a perfect picture of what possibly could come. And on that list of things they wanted invented, submitted and brought in and basically uh, ideas for uh, were a mass fatality tracking system wearable radiation detectors, rapidly deployable checkpoints. Think about that. Rapidly deployable checkpoints. Uh, zoological uh, propensity detectors, something that was going to detect something that transfers from animals to humans. Uh, and then, uh, oh, broadband uh, walkie-talkies long range, so 3,000 miles, which, by the way, I think that that got like put through real quick and then it's uh it's obviously uh adjusted into military use and to uh government use and then after it goes to military a lot of the time those same companies will say hey we can use this for commercial as you've noticed uh there's actually commercials that came out just since then in just the last couple months of one of the phone manufacturers i want to say it's uh t-mobile or at&t one of them actually has a broadband walkie-talkie and it, we covered that before that was, I, I guess, invented. It's not something you, you, it's something you think, well, why don't you just have a SIM card? Well, apparently this works uh, without a SIM card or it works through different systems than regular, so you can use it. And I just thought it was weird that they're even selling that. It's a push to talk kind of thing, but it's again long range. So what does that paint a picture of? Unfortunately, I think that most people do not want to accept that we are close to a real conflict. And I mean cyber, uh, physical, nuclear, whatever you want to call it, most of us are preparing for the worst and hoping for the best. So as far as Schmidt, uh, there's more more points in here that he talks about, uh, but es essentially it, it's even more information backing what we've kind of been saying for three and a half years now. <clears throat> All right, and then if you do want to call in, 2244 marf It looks like we have Blowtorch Barbie, Tommy 2X4, Blake Lee, Round and Round. Queen BTB says, true that, Adam. What is going on? Hey, Bear Claws, Princess Peach Fuzz. Uh, let's see here. Thank you. 98% of the time, there's a show around 1030 to 1130 Eastern. That is correct. Thank you. Uh, it's usually around 6 or 7 Pacific time. And then Love Pugs, Goddess Thorn, Spirit I Am. Thank you, everybody that popped in. And uh, looks like we are all, we already have some callers lined up. We have James, and James is calling from Tennessee. Uh, well, you are getting James in. I'm just going to go over EMP Shield. If you guys have not heard of these products, essentially this is a company that helps uh, com uh, agencies like DOD, DHS, protect themselves against EMP. If the government is doing it, why aren't we? Uh, this is a device that can actually ground the signal of an EMP, or in fact, all three phases of an EMP, uh, before it's able to fry your device. In fact, it will ground the, the signal in less than a picosecond. Uh, this, again, can also protect you against solar flare or the CMEs that come from them. Uh, and uh, Carrington level events, that type of thing. Uh, if you want to go over and check them out, there is plenty of reason to be looking at these right now, considering that the man-made threat is one of the highest probabilities out of all of the crazy stuff we talk about. Uh, but the natural event, we are in solar cycle 25, one of the most unpredictable cycles we've ever seen, and it is way above what is forecasted. We just had four events in just a week. Uh, last week so there's plenty of reasons 
uh, to prepare for the natural kind, which this can. There are different devices for different things. You can get an EMP shield for your car so you're not stuck out in the middle of the road or in the middle of the country when this happens. Uh, or there is one for your generator, so your generator uh, sparks up and runs after an EMP or a CME. Or there's ones for your house, your ham radio, your ATVs, your motorcycles, your boats, anything that you want to keep running after these happen, uh, you would get this and uh, apply it to. The car version is the most uh, most selling version of this, and it is uh, very easy to put in, about 10 to 15 minutes for anybody with no technological uh, know-how whatsoever. And then that is at marfuglenews.com slash EMP. You will get $50 off per device. So if you want to hook up all of the different things you want to keep going, you can do that at $50 off per device. All right, guys, marfuglenews.com slash EMP. That helps us out and it will help you out as well. I think it will save lives eventually. Thank you, everybody that has done so. Anybody that has dealt with them knows that they're amazing. All right, let's get our, our caller James on. And James from Tennessee is going to be talking about prepping. <clears throat> and Adam, James is live. Hey, Adam, how are you doing? Hey, James. So what specifically about prepping did you want to talk about? Well, a few days ago on your show, uh, you were talking about when uh, S hits the fan, uh, everybody won't be able to get on Google, uh, no internet. And they need to have a hard copy of How to Survive, a book, say, for instance. Uh, another reason why I need, people need to not only necessarily drive on just food and water, but they need to uh, think about medicine. And there's a lot of plants around everyone. Uh, just different plants where everybody lives. So just... Study up on your plants and what they are good for. Uh, say, for instance, Golden Seal, you can get that over the counter uh, through Amazon or whatever. It's, it's an antibiotic. works just like an antibiotic. Uh, uh, milk thistle, say, for instance, you can take the milk out of the plant and kind of boil it down and use it as a topical for pain. Uh, white pine needles, you can use them in a tea and or they have high vitamin A, vitamin C. You can, uh, they're good for depression. Uh, there's a lot of, a lot of good things come from just plants because if you look back at the, our past, Everybody used plants for medicine. And when the pharmaceutical places come around and they overdriven the holistic doctors, uh, I mean, if you, if you look at the Greek word, say, for instance, the Greek word for our pharmacy is uh, pharmakia. Pharmakia. Uh, is also called sorcery. Sorcery is black magic. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, it, it's now, another you... thing that people need to look out for is just medicinal uh, survival as well as just food and water, along with food and water. Well, and then James, what I think of is is how there are several states, and and in the chat, people can correct me, but I, I believe there are certain places that are stopping the sale of seeds and different things, and it, it's kind of like these these different things that happen that make you just scratch your head and go, why, you know, why would they not want, uh, you know, during the the demic, everybody started growing their own food, and and we didn't know how long it was going to last at that time. There were a lot of places that would not sell seeds. In fact, if this if this all repeats itself, if we have another uh, event like CV or even worse, look at what the stores did. The stores like did a, a dry run on this. They actually uh, 
you know, taped off the seeds and they taped off the non-essentials. So you couldn't even buy clothes at one point. I don't know if you remember that, but there was a point where Target and oh, Kmart yeah. and all these places and uh, they, they had their clothes uh, X'd off. Walmart had their seeds and garden department closed. It's like, how would you do that when the whole point of this is when people are locked down that, you know, for them to provide for themselves, they had no work. Then uh, essentially you left some people with the only option of I need to grow my own food and they purposely, you know, closed off seeds. So I think on top of books and other things and uh, on plants, people should have seeds that, that will uh, grow those plants you speak of. Well, I mean, I'm talking about wild plants in general. I mean, there's just a lot of wild plants out there. Everybody can eat. Say it, it, the pine needles. I mean, it's good for everything. It, tastes good it's make just simple drinking tea out of it and it's good for you there's nothing wrong with it uh it's just it, there's a lot of plants out there that people is not taking advantage of well and another thing is is how do you know what wild plants to use if you don't have you know a computer just to look it up that's exactly getting back to your first point you should have books on this uh, we actually got several of our right, books from and, from fans. You should you should be going out and actively looking for books with that information. Yeah, do it uh, while while we have Google. For people do have Google and the internet, go ahead and study on it now, and not wait till you have to. Yeah, the, I would say the best option is to memorize it, but also you can print out things from Google and even go as far as. Uh, to, you know, uh, I guess, laminate it so it's sealed and protected. If you don't want to go out and spend it, a bunch it, of money at Barnes & Noble, you can print it yourself. It doesn't matter. You, it just depends on the person and what you want to do and how you want to preserve it, preserve the information. It's, it's all it, does. it comes down to this information. In the end, it's the more you know, the more you, you learn, and the more you learn, the more you know and and you're more apt to survive when you have knowledge of all these things that we have lost over generations james you are absolutely right well i thank you for calling in we're out of time right now but i appreciate you as yeah. always and uh of course don't be a stranger i know and, uh, and we'll hear from you again and yeah, and just one more thing. I also gave uh, Dex the video of the previous time that I called in about the Bigfoot and all that stuff, but he got it fixed and it's back up. So, all right, perfect. Well, James, you got all the information. We we all right. we uh, have attached. No problem, man. We've I just wanted to touch in on the plant stuff. All thank right, you. well, thank you, James, and we've you attached we've attached that to our website. Uh, the, the previous call that he made, he uh, he brought in a video and there was some sort of problem with it. So uh, Dex has attached that under caller info on the website. Uh, and then uh, thank you, Lisa K says it's Friday, enjoying Marfugal News. I hope you guys have a nice coffee or tea or popcorn uh, because it's, yeah, it's getting there. Uh, in a minute, we'll talk about in the next six weeks, I believe things will pick up with the uh, with Xi and his country, uh, especially looking at uh, what our military group is saying, what their uh, actual mouthpieces are saying, and then of course what other countries outside the U.S. are saying about their participation in this. I never doubted that that Xi was involved in all of this. In fact, Xi may be running people here. Xi may be running people in in Vladland. Uh, he may be running. He may be running things behind uh, closed doors in a lot of areas. Uh, there's reasons we say that. Uh, he, Their country has essentially uh, taken over in a lot of tech areas. Look at how they are tracking their citizens. Everything that is rolled out there has slowly been adapted to us. Now, that sounds crazy, but if you look at what they have done through their Weibo and their, their tracking... It's all the same stuff that we've been accused of, but ours was kept secret, whereas theirs is out in the open. It's like, 
if it's not getting if if it, we're not getting that directly from them, then we are copying their system. Only we're doing it a whole lot more shady. Uh, Queen BTP says the only true news I think you uh, Mark Marf and Dex. Thank you. And then Queen BTP would be rather be here uh, with all you real talking. And then uh, release the quacking. Thank you, Brendan Henschel. Hey, what's up, man? I hope you and your wife are doing well. And then uh, really, really, and uh, by the way, just thank you. And I, I want to say, I don't know, I know that uh, someone else from your family is is a watcher. Is that correct? Well, either way, thank you guys. I really appreciate it. And then kiss the sky. Thank you. And uh, Vicky K. Thank you for the support. If you guys haven't checked out Brandon Henschel, make sure to go do so over on DLive. He is a great guy. And then Sean Michelle Hammy, thank you for the Ninja Genie. Thank you for the support. In fact, two Ninja Genies. Love you, Fugle fam. Currently in Virginia, heading to Oklahoma, then back home to Washington. Well, thank you uh, for your support and thanks uh, for supporting local. All right. And then back to the news. We have, of course, G accused of launching cyber attacks on UKR before the invasion. Now, uh, Dex, you are a tech expert. So when you want to pop in, you can uh, just flash the light if you want. Um, But I'm going to be basically saying the same thing as I did earlier. So... There are a lot of things here. We we covered this as it was happening, and there were these hacks and these very strange hacks. Some of them involved, uh, you know, I mean, it was made to look like it was Vlad. Now they're saying that some of those actually weren't him, and it was actually China. I am not saying that I believe that this is what happened, uh, but it is more believable than actually they them doing it because of what it was. And everybody questioned if it was a nation state actor or if it was a smaller group that was pro, you know, Vlad or or something like that. I think that they have a whole lot more to do with this. And I think like everything else, we'll know for a fact, like in all of our heads, we know what's going on, but they won't say it publicly. And then months, months later, they will. It's kind of like the laptop. We knew this before and everybody even dropped their stuff in the in the ballot box. We knew all of this. They hid it. They pushed it down. They said it was fake. And then later on, of course it comes out as real. They just say, "Oh, well, it was it, we it was a mistake." Essentially, the legacy media has no reputation for I mean, there's virtually no legacy media that still has its reputation intact. Uh, whether it be on the right or on the left, they are all uh, absolutely horrible as far as uh, saying things are fake or, you know, jumping the gun on. They'll jump the gun on one thing and then say that something else is totally fake and not even look into it. It's pretty bad. Uh, Irish Rebel says, I hope people are prepping up. My gut is telling me the next three to six months are going to be really rough. I believe I believe that actually I I don't ever say dates I n- never say that kind of stuff but I do believe in the next six weeks we will have uh, we we will have a huge increase of events and I believe that G will be pulled into this uh, a lot more and I believe they are already pulled in more than you think uh, I believe that the I think the public won't know f- I until a little bit later but I I think that military and a lot of our guys know. Um, the reason I say that is because the common denominator of everyone, everyone in the different military group, active military saying that that is what's being said. And that is the same stuff that they were saying before they said it before any MSM touched it and they were correct. So this same group of people is now saying this again. I, I believe it. And I don't think it would be surprising whatsoever. I have thought that G has been behind a lot of this. Obviously, you can't you, you can't say much without proof, but I do think that our military group is correct this time. Uh, and then Diane Moses, wow, made a live show. Thank you for all your hard work. I really started preparing because of you. Hey guys, don't forget to hit the like. So one thing in specific that I can uh, say is that they believed that that there was going to be some sort of event, and that event would be made to look like it was somebody who lived here. Uh, 
basically hitting ourselves, right? But it was actually from a nation state actor. And that was one thing that they have been warned about is us doing something to us. Uh, God's truth. And we, we know that, that that warning was coming out of DHS, but now they're actually watching for it. Uh, it kind of goes along with what we're going to talk about here in a minute as far as what they're watching and what is actually happening. God's Truth 1, thank you for subscribing. John Stridenstricker, thank you for subscribing. Shan 2, thank you. I, I don't know if that's Shan, like Shan Shan. Thank you so much. And then uh, Zodiac Killer 12, that's an interesting name. And then Mr. Million 96, thank you so much. And Natasha French, Thank you for your support. Care of Fuse, we are still here watching in Lake Charles. Haven't missed a show. Love you. God bless you all. Care of Fuse, thank you. And I really do notice. Thank you so much for making basically every single show. And then uh, Jake Albergati. Good evening, Fugle fam. Thanks, Adam Dex and Mods. Keep up the good work. And then DH Slayton. Thank you for subscribing. Lots of new people. Please welcome DH. And, uh, of course, Tina Zimmer, Wanda Rowe, Jay Elsley, uh, J Elsie, not, not Jay Inslee, that's for sure. And then, as far as these cyber attacks, it said that they were uh, launched towards military and nuclear targets shortly before the invasion, according to a report. The UK government came out with this, confirmed that the National Cybersecurity Center, which we've talked about before, is investigating the allegations which claim that more than 600 websites, including UKR's defense ministry, were subjected to thousands of hacking attempts coordinated by the government. It says a UK government spokesperson said that the National Cybersecurity Center is investigating these allegations with our international partners. Now, have you noticed that certain things come out of the UK that really sounds like the signature of the US? Like the secret stuff that we know <clears throat> through our, our massive surveillance that we do on the whole planet. And then they hand it over to the UK so nobody can go, well, that's because you're watching the entire planet with your CIA and NSA programs. Uh, they also were the ones who came out and said, we have solid information that there's going to be, you know, an invasion and we've got solid information. They're going to plan an FF uh, to make it look like they were actually attacked, which mind you now places in Russia are being hit. So within their border, they are having uh, things being attacked. So now it is going both sides of the border. It's not just an invasion. They're, they're firing back, or at least something is happening over there, which also could be a reason for them to escalate. We don't know. Now, the claims are based on intelligence memos, which have been obtained by the Times. UKR's security service, the SBU, alleges that Xi appears to have had an advance notice of the because of the hacking attempts started before the end of the Winter Olympics. Now, I don't know what this has to tie into why uh, Jake Sullivan said we absolutely know that this is going to start before the end of the Olympics. And it the end of the Olympics ended right before this started. So we, we had every one of our officials come out and say, it's going to happen after, you know, it's not going to, we're absolutely sure and we're being crystal clear that we believe this is going to start before the Olympics end. Why? Maybe they were talking like that because they saw uh, Xi hacking and they did it through illegal ways. See, the U.S. is monitoring every person on the planet. Uh, monitoring your phones, monitoring your cameras. And I, I, this is just my theory that the whole reason they even suggested uh, phone cameras on the front and the back is because, think about it, you have phone cameras on the front and the back and a fingerprint scanner and facial recognition and iris scanners. Why do you think they came up with that? Just so somebody can't get in and access your Facebook? Come on, people. Uh, these companies are all tied in with the, the big groups. Uh, and, and they were sold to us as a convenience. Those fingerprint scanner, iris scanner, everything else. Hey, remember, remember when you used to had to have uh, committed a crime for them to have your 
Uh, your fingerprints? <clears throat> yeah, I don't. Now it doesn't matter. Even if you have never committed a crime, guarantee you they have your fingerprints. <clears throat> they may tell you something else, but they've got your uh, they've got your fingerprints, and they have your your digital print too. They can do geo warrants based on where you were with your phone. So what do you think about this? Let me know in the comments below. Give me a call at 2244 marf And then we have German chemical giant warns of total collapse if the gas supply is cut. The CEO of Germany's multinational BASFSE, the world's largest chemical producer, has warned that curbing or cutting off energy imports from the bear country would bring into doubt the continued existence of small and medium-sized energy companies and further would likely spiral Germany into its most catastrophic economic crisis going back to the end of the WW2. It said company CEO Martin Brudermiller uh, uh, issued the words in an interview with Frankfurter Allegemenje and I'm saying Allegemenje uh, just ahead of German officials by midweek giving a quote early warning to industries and the population of possible natural gas shortages as the bear country appears to ready to firmly hold Putin's recent declaration that unfriendly countries must settle energy payments in rubles related to the UKR crisis and resultant Western sanctions. It says... Uh, Germany could be independent from gas in four to five years. It remains that LNG imports cannot be increased quickly enough to replace all gas flows in the short term. So they're essentially saying that if it gets cut off or if they, they make it so they cannot pay. And for some reason, I, I feel like it, it's a way bigger deal for them to go over to rubles than even we think then they have to stop getting that fuel and then it's going to cause this big log jam and this stoppage it says but in the meantime Bruto Miller uh, described that it's quote not enough that we all turn down the heating by two degrees now given that the bear country covers 55 percent of German natural gas consumption he emphasized that if gas disappeared overnight many things would collapse here given that, quote, we would have high levels of unemployment and many companies would go bankrupt. This would leave to, lead to irreversible damage. <clears throat> now, he said, to put it bluntly, this could bring the German economy into its worst crisis since the end of the Second World Conflict and destroy our prosperity for many small and medium-sized companies in particular. It could mean the end. We can't risk that. So... If you're not seeing a pattern here, almost every place in the planet is collapsing. After CV and now with this, it's like, they're like, okay, how much did we destroy with this? All right, so we've got a lot more to destroy. What do we do next? They're like sitting at a table and they're going, hey, any ideas? Ah, well, oh, what are we going to do about Germany? They're still doing well. Uh, okay, Norway? Okay, let's get them involved too. All right, let's have them join NATO. Ah, that's a neutral kind. Ah, let's get them in too. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Let me know in the chat. And then, you know, mercenaries deploy to Russia in route of UKR battlefields. <clears throat> it said that hundreds of fighters are en route to join the bear forces in UK are effectively returning the favor to Moscow for helping President Bashar al-Assad crush rebels in an 11-year civil conflict, according to two people monitoring the flow of mercenaries. <coughs> Excuse me. A first contingent of soldiers has already arrived in bear country for military training before heading to UKR, according to a Western diplomat and a Damascus-based ally of this government. It includes at least 300 soldiers from you know, Army Division that has worked closely with officers who went to, you know, to support Bashar al-Assad during the war. It said, and many more could be on the way. Recruiters across you know, have been drawing up lists for thousands of interested candidates and vetted by the you know, 
security services then pass to the Russians. So obviously we have all of a sudden a huge kind of intervention and then we've got the middle E involved and we have mercenaries from and of course we have different drama going over there. Uh, we have military in the Middle East saying that they are being told that all of this other stuff is a distraction and it's about to pop off in the Middle East and it's going to be more than just a holy, it's going to be a huge event that's going to pop off between is and I ran to the store. Uh, and we've got Ariel's pervy perspective says, hey, Marf and fam, just wanted to say keep up the good work and I love Mike forever and always. Ariel, thank you. And uh, notice the name change. That's awesome. Uh, Justin True, great comments here, says the collapse of the USD food supply chains, the economy is intentional. These seemingly unrelated events are all coordinated on sovereign nations to usher in the W.O. God bless Fugle fam. Check out my last video. Justin True, uh, I actually do think that that is a good idea. Justin True has been around for a very long time through thick and thin. Make sure to go over and, and subscribe to Justin True. Um, I will go check out your video after this is done. And Blonde Thought, thank you for subscribing. <clears throat> Ashley Jean, thank you, Marf, Dex, and Mods. And then Thaddeus J. It feels like you've been here for a long time. Uh, did you change your name, Thaddeus? All right, thank you. <clears throat> and then Dex, if if you would like to comment, otherwise we'll get our next caller on. <clears throat> it looks like we have Michelle, first time caller, uh, followed up by Tommy, another first time caller. Uh, yes, yeah, so we'll get Michelle on. And while you get Michelle on, I'll just uh, bring up very quickly. If you do want long-term survival food or any of the things that we talked about earlier, most likely you can find it on uh, My Patriot Supply at marfuglenews.com slash prep. Uh, they have the actual long-term survival buckets. They have the actual MREs, the bagged and sealed food that can last years and years and years. And it's really, really good. If you go over to marfuglenews.com slash prep and if you end up going with the three-month supply, you can get $150 off. That discount is not forever. Uh, one thing that is also not forever is their uh, their lack of price hikes. They have not raised their prices in, I believe, over a year. So make sure to get over there and get it uh, with inflation and transportation and gas prices. Almost every company is raising their prices. They have held out as long as I have seen a company hold out, especially with prep food. And it's probably because these are meant to last years and years. Uh, but I, I, again, I think that that is going to, I don't think that that is going to stay true forever. Uh, this helps us. It basically, when we send you to them, uh, they end up sending us a commission of that. And that is helping us. And then that is also helping you. Uh, that way you support your favorite channel and you end up getting prepped at the same time. But I have to say, if you are not going to go through something like this or you do not have the ability to go through something like this, make sure to have extra water every time you go to the store. Get a couple of gallons. Uh, go through and actually look at the canned uh, food and get an extra can, even if it's a 2 or $3 can. It uh, doesn't matter what. Do a little bit at a time. Uh, everyone has the ability to do that, even if you have to save up you know, $2 a week and put it towards this. You should be doing that now. Uh, again, this kind of food and, and long-term survival food, it can come in handy in other ways other than the end of the world. Uh, people in Texas that had power go out for seven, eight days, if they had this, then at least they would have food. Uh, there were stores that didn't didn't open up for like nine days in California with the rolling blackouts. There are plenty of other places, Tornado Valley, you've got tornadoes that come through or just general blackouts in, in uh, all over the country. And who knows? I bet the West Coast is going to have a bunch more of those this summer. So make sure to prep up and be prepared. All right, marfuglenews.com slash prep. All right, let's get Michelle on, first-time caller out of Arizona. And it looks like I have a link, but there is a copyright on this. So we'll just be sharing, sharing who it is. Uh, Michelle. And Adam, Michelle is live. You are live on Marfugal News. Hi, Adam. I can't believe I'm talking to you. Well, hey, how are you doing? 
Uh, I can't decide if I'm going to faint or be sick. <laughs> what did, I'm just a little what nervous. Did, oh, no <laughs> worries. Not, I'm good. <laughs> no worries. Just, just it's person to person. So, <laughs> what are we looking at here? Well, I wanted to um, tell you and Dex and the Fugle fam about a series that I found on YouTube. It's called Truth Stream Media. And um, the, one of the first articles that you talked about, um, about the banking system and um, the warning and they, this um, couple that has this channel um, made a series, a docu-series, and it's amazingly professional. Um, you feel like you're watching the History Channel, and it, um, you learn some history, and then you also learn about how um, wealth moves around during conflicts, um, and global conflicts and how we um, got to the system that we have now and it gives you a clue about kind of where we're headed um, and they think they did the first episode about a month ago and they just published the seventh episode today I think that um, Anyone in the Fugle fam who's interested in how this stuff works would just really enjoy the series. And I just wanted to share it with everybody. Well, this is really cool. I can't wait to check this out. So, and it looks like they're a solid amount of time too. So episode one yeah, is like, 40, like a movie. Yeah, mm -hmm. 45 minutes, an hour, an hour and 17 minutes, an hour and five minutes, 110 minutes. Uh, this must have taken so long. This must have been, mm -hmm. uh, this is has to be like a year or two years worth of work. I feel like I've heard of them. Yeah. I don't know why I'm not. It's um, their last name is uh, Dykes. I can't remember the first names. Um, and they're a couple, and they did this together. And yeah, I think they deserve all sorts of subscriptions and is it, and likes and stuff. Isn't it People weird? Like it. Isn't it weird how there are huge channels like this, and it's like unless somebody tells you about them, you'll never see it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just think it's crazy. It, by the way, for them being uh, only the, it's point zero something percent of channels <clears throat> that hit over 100,000 subscribers. So literally uh, both of our channels are in that, you know, point zero something. So for them to be at 500,000, they're in a very small group of channels I mean, very tiny compared to the, the rest of the mm -hmm. 2 billion channels. And it's like, I've never, I don't yeah. know if I've seen these guys before. I can't believe that. And I bet you I love to learn about new channels us. that are good. Yeah. Well, me too. Th well, thank you so much for bringing this to our yeah. attention. Is there any, anything else you wanted You're to, to go over? Um, no, I, I guess maybe two things, you know, thank you for everything you're doing. And you've got got my husband onto the the um, that's got him to be willing to prepare for things, and um, that's been really nice. And you know, just to everybody listening, um, you know, I I feel like we're headed towards um, something big. And I would just say, you know, if you if you've never read. Um, the last book of the Bible, I would take a look at it because I think so many generations before ours, they couldn't imagine how things would play out, but it's easier to see how it could happen now with all of the things that have gone down and the technology that we have. So just something to think about. Well, I agree with that, Michelle. And Revelations has some pretty scary revelations <laughs> well thank you so much mm -hmm. but it's scary listening to you now <laughs> what's going on so it's, it's it's unfolding it feels like but anyways i'll let you go thank you well you have a wonderful night and yeah. uh we will talk to you next time hey it's your first time call please don't make it your last okay michelle all right thanks adam all right thank you so much for the suggestion and make sure to go over and check those guys out 
Go over to uh, True Stream Media. Make sure to only push positive stuff towards their way. Um, I don't. I maybe. I feel like we have love mobbed them maybe back in the day or something. Uh, they don't need it. They're you know twice our size, three times our size. So, uh, but make sure to only push positive and and tell them that they're awesome. Um, one other thing. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I had a crazy, crazy dream the other night and I'll just, I know that many people are like, Oh, who cares? It's a dream. It was such a crazy dream that, um, there were two events happening at the same time and I was waiting for a storm to hit, uh, for me to switch places with somebody in, in another place. And I woke up and I thought to look up time is going backwards. It was the weirdest thing out of nowhere. And I didn't even almost believe it until the morning I saw and I, I looked my search history up and I was half awake and I looked up time is going backwards and there was an actual theory and it's been back since like early 2000s they've been talking about it. And the, the craziest thing was it was m matching up in my dream and I've never seen a movie on this. I've never seen, uh, I've never read anything about it. And it was talking about how the human cycle just keeps going in, in repeat. And I might even want to pull it up because it was just so wild. And I was thinking, I, and it sounds weird at first, time is going backwards. And if I can find the same thing I found then, then it was just an absolute trip. Um, of course, in 2020, there was the uh, NASA finds evidence of parallel universe, but this is back. It was um, time travel is real. I'll have to. I'll have to look at it. It basically said time inversion. It was. It was like we were actually going backwards, back to. It wasn't even a big bang. It was it was more um it was almost like God has us on repeat. It was so weird. Uh and I was half awake, but I the one thing I pulled out of it is I think that a lot of us are having more and more dreams as as things get closer. Uh let me ask you this, for the people that usually don't have dreams but are now having dreams, and then for people that have dreams, are you having more dreams lately? compared to any other time in your life. Uh, we'll do a, a just a quick poll while I pull up the next uh, articles. Simply Pony, thank you for your support. You know you don't have to do that. Thank you so much. Amy Sparks, uh, Darab Kadari, and London Davidson. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, go ahead, Dex. <clears throat> hey, real quick, Adam. Uh, Truth Stream, I was looking this up, and somebody, Chuck Norris, Pinky Finger, in chat said this as well. That The girl there, Melissa Dykes, she used to be Melissa Melton. And you probably recognize that name from AJ. She used to work over there with AJ. Oh, okay. I, Does I that was, make sense? Yeah, I was wondering why it just... But the they probably changed their channel banner and some other stuff on their channel. We probably saw it before... I don't know. Maybe it's been the same, but I feel like like we uh, saw it before. Um. Okay, and then... We have UKR MI-24 helicopters fly daring cross-border strike on Russia. So mainly the point is here, I, I understand that this is another heroic thing that they say that UKR is doing. And now, now they are, they are hitting back, right? By the way, so uh, press one if you've been having more dreams. Two, if, if you have not. And then three... If you're somebody who hasn't had dreams that is having dreams. Uh, and right, press four to get decks if you call in. Yeah, and get and press four to get decks. Um, and then, thank you, Sean Michelle Hammy again. Release the quack and gas electric. Jordan B. Bear, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, join KC. Uh, release the quack and thank you for gifting out badges over on DLive. Look at this. One or three, that's pretty impressive.
And somebody said four. Pretty good a uh, number of two. There was there was a period of years where I wasn't having dreams. The re- I I think I think dreams. I'm sorry. I think dreams kind of show us a different. Like we're somewhere else. It's like some of the dreams, it it creates information that's not even in your head. That's what I don't understand. This dream was so out there and so crazy that it wasn't based on anything around me. That was one of the first dreams where I felt like it was just completely like I was somewhere else. Like it was in a different universe. It was just, I can't describe it. I woke up and thought to literally Google uh, time going backwards. I just never heard of that. Just, it was absolutely nuts. Maybe it was God talking to me. I don't know. (laughs) Um, And then they were attacking, right? So now we are actually seeing them go into Russia. Remember when, before this started, Russia put uh, surface-to-air missiles outside of Moscow? What if this is this whole thing is a little bit different? And and possibly, what if just hypothetically, we were going to take out Russia and not the other way around? Like the world is somehow going to push it, push it, push it, and, and then take them back out. Uh, they say that they are demilitarizing, right? What if they're really doing that because they believe that we are going to take them over through UKR? And by we, I mean uh, NATO and U.S. allies or whatever, and we'll make it look like they're doing that, but they know the next step, which is us taking them out. And then if we try to do that, then they nuke us or something or cyber attack us or do whatever they, they want to do. Just thinking out loud. And then Vlad visited by cancer doctor 35 times in baths in deer deer antlers. Um, Dex, did you see this, by the way, the the deer antlers part? (laughs) Yeah, that's kind of crazy, huh? Well, so. And hey, we do have one line open. I just want to put that out there. Okay, so uh, 224400 Marf, if you want to get in right now, this is your chance. If you're a first time caller, don't be shy. Uh, by the way, so hold on. <clears throat> so this supports the fact that he may have cancer. <clears throat> it says, uh, but the claims by Procht support speculation that Mr. Putin has thyroid cancer. And that steroids have been used in his treatment. Steroids, it is theorized, would explain the new puffiness in the president's face. The report claims that Mr. Putin also bathes in deer antlers as an alternative therapy. Sergei Shogu, a currently Russian defense minister, introduced Mr. Putin to antler baths in the early 2000s. The extract is taken from the antlers of red deer, removed with a saw in springtime when the antlers are full of fresh blood. Dude, you can't make this stuff up. Antler deer blood baths. I mean, this is what the elite do. Like, how many deers do they have to have somebody go out and get and do it during a certain season to gather this stuff and then gather the, the the deer antler blood bath. It says clinics that sell antler baths claim that the practice bestows various health benefits. Those benefits, according to a clinic in Siberia's Altai Mountains, include male potency. <laughs> yeah, I can just see him on his horse shirtless. This is like right after his... Maybe that's that explains the shirtless uh, horse pictures. Like he when when after his deer baths, he was just on a whole nother level. He was like, "Oh yeah, I, oh I look good." Ah, oh, deer antler bath. Me get on horse shirtless. You have to add the echo because once you take a deer blood antler bath. Uh, essentially, you are louder than anyone else in the room. 
It says the report says an acquaintance of the president claims that he had been warned that there is no conclusive evidence uh, of the benefits of antler bats. So what what is funny is like I I love that they they pull out the antler baths thing, but you know what's really more concerning is the fact that he may have um, a deathly cancer. Because that may also be a motivation of why things are happening, if they are actually happening as they say. Uh, a gentleman was arrested for spouting about this and saying that he had cancer and grilled and interrogated and all of this stuff. So obviously, Putin did not want people saying this. He grabbed the guy that was saying it. So is is, is that adding more credence to it or is it not? The number to call is 2244 marf and it does look like Dex is uh, trying to get them on. Uh, again, 224400 marf I guess we had a caller and they dropped. All right, and then... <clears throat> and then we have the shin bet said to have concrete warnings of imminent attacks foiled several others. <clears throat> It says the IS security forces have concrete warnings of imminent T attacks and have also foiled a number of other planned attacks in recent days amid an anti T crackdown. And remember, if I highlight a word, terror crackdown in response to several deadly assaults, IS television reported on Friday. The unsourced Channel 12 report gave no details on the foiled plots, only saying that the security forces were working to prevent several uh, hot warnings of further attacks. According to Channel 12 News, the Shin Bet in recent days has questioned uh, some 200 Israelis identified as having links to the Islamic Jihadist group. It says the network said 15 were arrested. Well, the rest were issued warnings after being questioned. A separate report by Channel 13 News, because apparently there it's just the number, uh, said security forces have drawn up a list of 300 suspected Islam State uh, supporters in IS and have arrested 45 of them. It was not clear what accounted for the discrepancy between the arrest figures reported by the networks. So just so you know, we have been following the stuff that's been going on in the middle E because we were told that something was going to really big was going to pop off there. You have a possible fantastic Freddy that happened with the pound and really, and then of course you have these things going on. Uh, why are they grabbing these people? What do they know about? Do they know something that is coming? They, this is again saying that they are now saying they have concrete uh, warnings of imminent attacks now most people in most countries they don't care because this is somewhere else this can this is a, one of the the three or four main hot pl uh, points of a ww3 scenario this is why we are paying attention to it uh, when anything that involves the the holy lands any anything over there it could very well trigger ww3 so it is a big deal and then, uh, thank you for getting that on. And it looks like Dex is on the phone with our next caller. Uh, that's too bad. I, I apologize for whoever ended up dropping. It, that is too bad. Um, but we'll get you in next time. And then William W., thank you for heading over to PayPal. I appreciate you. Thank you for your support. Linda P., uh, Tina SM, thank you so much. Uh, over the last month, uh, the Madco Group, Franco LLC, Wendy C., Chanel B., uh, Chris G, uh, Christina, Karen W, uh, VB Lisa, thank you, uh, Dawn B, Helen M, A uh, Amy M, and then of course uh, Loris S and Ralph J. Thank you so much again for your help. And then Judy and Andy, I appreciate you guys. And uh, Natasha F, thank you as well. And then Tuck Pup, you know what? I haven't seen Tuck Pup in a long time. What happened to Tuck Pup? Uh, hopefully he is okay. I'm praying for you. God's loyal servant, 1111. Thank you so much. Amy Sparks, Darab, and uh, everybody else that just subscribed. Thank you, everybody. And remember, make sure to subscribe over to Marfugal News, our sister channel. All right. And then uh, Dex, it does look like you are getting them on. It looks like we have, we're going to have them on in just a moment. 
Um, by the way, since we have a second here, just a reminder, this entire show is run by an Energy a Flex 1500 solar generator. Essentially, one of the things was my ultimate goal was to have no missed shows because of uh, power outages, which I actually had about six shows last year because I'm in a bad area uh, because my power keeps going out. So my router, uh, all of my two power bars, everything is running off of one Flex 1500 with one battery. Uh, mind you, now I have them actually hooked up not only to the power, but to the solar panels. And it is uh, it is basically enough to run all of my stuff. Uh, again, this is one of the most flexible solar generators out there. It is absolutely silent. I can't even run a fan uh, next to my computer or my mic. Uh, without it, it causing feedback, but this thing is absolutely silent. Why that is important is if you are in an SHTF situation, uh, you do not want your engine, your motor, the second the power goes out, people are going to be listening for generators and they're going to go steal them or you're going to have to fight to keep it. Uh, the solar generators, on the other hand, you will not have to acquire gas, which will be very hard to attain if everything really does fall apart. And also, just for you know, normal camping or normal uh, out trips, this thing is an amazing uh, device because it is actually uh, portable. But if you want it to be a home base, you can actually ex expand this to up to 96 batteries. Essentially make a wall out of these batteries. Uh, that you can do, or you can mod it so it can charge faster. Uh, you can mod it so it actually takes in more input. That is the best part about this as well, is how fast it can be charged. Uh, usually, uh, when you buy one of those uh, compact solar generators that's all in one kit, uh, the bad part about that is you get the battery built in, and once it's done, you have to buy a whole new unit, a whole new system. This one, you can add batteries, you can switch them out, you can switch them out for different ones, uh, no problem. So the, the top part is literally made out of just the highest quality metals. You're talking about something that's going to last you a lifetime. All right. And then that, that's at marfuglenews.com slash energy. And if you uh, head over there, make sure to put in the code marfugal. All right. And then Dex, uh, do we have our caller? It looks like Deborah. Hey, yes, Adam, we're getting, we're getting Deborah online. And Deborah is now live, Adam. Deborah from Ohio, you are live on Marfugal News. I'm here, Adam. How you doing? I'm doing good. So you have a suggestion for everybody, and uh, you say it's pretty important. I do. Well, well, to me it's important. I don't know if anybody else will think that, but I do. <laughs> um, I do agree with you that there are certainly um, messages that can come through uh, into our dreams from a higher power, whoever your higher power is that you love, worship, and adore. Uh, so we won't go there. But anyway, <laughs> um, I do keep a dream journal regularly, and I find that it not only helps to improve your remembering what you're dreaming, especially if the dream freaks you out, like you were mentioning about the dream you had tonight, um, I suggest that if that happens, you write it down immediately because if you happen to fall back asleep, you may not remember later. So, and if you, if you do keep a journal, you may realize that there's a pattern to what you're seeing and you might realize that it is a message. That's what I wanted to share with you, Adam. Well, and I wish I could remember more when I was... I'll just be honest with you. I, I woke up and I uh, I had to go to the bathroom and I, I was Googling while I was in the bathroom and I it was like by the time you're done waking up for like five minutes, a lot of it's gone. It's so crazy to me that you are in this entire other world. It is like a movie. Everything is just so vivid and, and within five minutes, it's gone. I just don't understand that. I just remember a big storm, but I remember more of the feeling. Dreams can do to you something that nothing, no experience can ever in life. The way I felt about it was just, you can't describe it. You Only to somebody who has really had a, a, a set of vivid dreams 
really understands. Let me ask you Some something. Some people don't Adam, dream. Do you dream in color or do you dream in black, white, shades of gray like an old 60s movie? I think I dream Just in color. Curious. I think I dream in color, but but I don't I've always thought we don't actually well, know. Well, that's a clue. That's a clue then. You you are definitely um Probably getting some interesting information from whoever your your fate is directed towards. So I would suggest that you keep a notebook and a pen or a pencil near your bed. And when you wake up, um, you know, jot it down right away. Even if you've got to hurry up and get to the bathroom, jot it while you're, you know, singing on the can or something. <laughs> But do what you can to remember, because like I said, you may see a pattern. Um, I happen to have a couple of weird ones last night myself. One was so upsetting to me, I, I dreamt that I uh, had gone to our church, my husband and I, and we drove into the lot, and there was absolutely no other vehicles in the lot. And normally when we attend our church, there's like lots of church, you know, lots of people there before mass even begins like 30 minutes later and it just gave me a creepy feeling and then I realized when we walked into the doors which they have these huge wooden doors in the front of our church and they were partially off the hinges and broken and looked like somebody had taken an axe to them and when I walked in the entire inside of the church was gone it was bombed it was bombed and I woke up and I was so upset I was crying and I was just beside myself and I just couldn't believe it. And I was petting my dog and trying to calm down. And then I went back to sleep after a while and I had another one. And it was this time I saw our, our caster sitting across from someone and he was nodding his head and the person sitting across from him was talking extremely fast, but it was so weird. I couldn't hear a word he was saying because my eyes were glued on the pastor in this big empty shell of what used to be our church. And it was so sad. It was so sad. I, I just, I cried. I was so sad. <laughs> so I, I can understand what you're saying about the extent of emotions and feelings that you can experience in a dream. I get that. Why well, I, I felt like I really knew something like, like I was given information and the, what really freaked me out is because I still remembered some in the first 30 seconds. And when I looked it up and the first thing that popped up was this theory. And when I read it, it was wild because it was like, it basically like everything expires and that at the very end it restarts. And I was thinking, Oh my gosh, like the my, part of one of our thoughts is that it, this is end times, but what if God? I agree. Actually, I, I what if God that actually that's what we are in right now. What if God re restarted it? You know, what if He somehow God can start us over again? And and it, it would it's crazy because you know He created it and then it ends. But does He not start another one, or does He start another planet? Can't it? Doesn't He have the all giving power to to start other planets as well or I, I don't know I guess I uh well do you, do you ever see the movie about the girl astronaut that went up in space with Jamie Jamie what was her last name <laughs> she's a great actress but it was based on the theories from the great astronomer who died I'm trying to remember it was based on one of his books I'm, I'm having a total brain collapse here Adam um, but the, the, anyway the movie was she went up into space and then she saw her dad and then at the very end of the movie she came back and nobody believed a blessed word she said did you see that movie was it recent like a Netflix movie or was this a 70s 80s no, 90s it was, no it was a number of years ago and I, I, I'm the only reason I'm asking you if you saw it was because when she went up in space time did stop and one of the most famous lines in that movie, I just love it, was from the, 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 the astronomer who had, he had said um, that, wouldn't it be a terrible shame if all that, those beautiful stars were just there for us to look at and there was nothing else there because he truly believed that there was life on other planets. And he said, 
But wouldn't it be a waste if all it's there for is just for us to look at it and say, hmm, how pretty. And I have to agree with that. I, I don't think that we're the only ones here. People I are, don't. And I... They're saying Jodie Foster. I don't know Foster. what you think, but that's what I think. Was it Contact but with Jodie Foster? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I have seen that. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. Awesome movie. I do remember that, and I I watched it probably two or three years ago. After I watched it when I was a, I watched it when it came out, and then I watched it a few years back, and I thought, man, this is this is a great movie. Well, oh, I love that movie. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of really good mind bending movies that have come out over the last twenty years, and uh, definitely have to. I want to go back through them. One, you know, uh, what what is it? Uh, the scariest movie ever. I, I really do think that it's really good to look at uh, Hollywood and look at movies and to look at how uh, they are putting stuff out through Hollywood and through different things. And there's there's hidden messages everywhere. So who knows what's going on? Independence Day is one that's a bizarre one, isn't it? That one blows my mind. <laughs> Which one? Independence Day. Oh no, that yeah, that's one of my favorite movies altogether of all time. I think yeah, uh, and but yeah, now it blows my mind. Now it's in fact that ship, uh, that that ship that comes over the city, uh, that's now mm-hmm. the the shadow of the smack of Chris Rock. Uh, so now it's just going to be Will Smith uh, shadowing uh, Chris Rock forever with his Oscars slap. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Yeah, they're, they're such drama. Oh, good lord, <laughs> drama kings, both of them. <laughs> yes, indeed. Well, Deborah, thank you so much for calling. Oh, and the drama. Don't be a stranger. It was nice meeting you. Well, you're welcome. No, so, and you know what? Peace be with you, Adam, and um, prayers for you and your family. Stay safe in these end times, and may God bless you and keep you and keep you safe. Well, thank you, and God bless you as well. Uh, bye, Deborah, Thanks. and don't be a stranger. Great talking to you. Great talking yeah, to you as well. Alone. All right, bye. Love your show. Bye. All right, thank you. It's pretty surprising how many people said that they've started having dreams. Uh, as far as how many people from scratch have not dreamt and now are dreaming. I mean, uh, oh, okay. Here's another one. Right bef- before anything else. One and two, only two choices. Do you think dreams mean something? Uh, and two, they don't mean anything. They're just subconscious. One and two. One, if dreams mean something, like have a f- something to do with real life. And two, for no. All right, and then uh, let's see here. Dex, do you... I can go? never, I can never remember my dreams. I, I know I dream. I just it's rare that I can remember. I can remember the reoccurring ones from my childhood, but uh, outside of that, I they happen all the time, but I never remember them. I have you have you never remembered one or? No, no, I've got some that I remember vividly from a child from my childhood that were sort of like these reoccurring type dreams, um, and they're kind of silly because I was a kid and I was a kid in the dream, so. Um, but that's it. You know, usually nine times, you know, probably 99 times out of a hundred. I don't remember what happened in my dream ever, but I wake up and I knew I was dreaming and like two seconds later, it's gone. Well, one thing about dreams is some people like hearing dreams. Some people do not with a passion. It's kind of like seeing somebody else's vacation photos. Uh, that's how some people see it. I actually do appreciate dreams, but I, I, I do think that some of the, if you know if if it's somebody that knows the meanings of them that's a little bit more entertaining like you know uh Jacob Israel I could tell him a dream and he he's able to like break it down and he's able to tell me what he thinks it means and and he's using it from you know from actual study into it so i think it's cool when you have somebody if we had like a call in with a dream specialist and they were able to say what those are supposed to mean or something uh because i do think our subconscious too tells us about something like something bad is on its way or or you're going through a change or you're depressed or you're happy or you're sad or 
you're afraid of abandonment or whatever the heck it may be. There's all sorts of things that we, there's all every meaning for dreams. Like if you, uh, I had a dream where I, I thought my teeth were falling out and I just kept, my teeth kept falling out. That is supposed to mean something. I think it's supposed to mean like, you know, you're afraid of getting left behind or something. I don't know. Either way, That's it would fascinating. be fascinating. It would be uh, <laughs> cool. So web only content. Absolutely. Head over to marfuglenews.com. Click on the thumbnail for the show on YouTube. Open that description. It's the first link. It says show notes. It'll take you right here. Get the rest of the story. Look, we got scandals going on. Uh, more scandals going on. There's always something happening here. Uh, go take a look. See what's happening uh, specifically with a three letter agency. Um, more updates from uh, the probes that have been going on that are uh, going after prior politicians that those updates are there. Um, uh, plenty of of political type stuff on both sides, uh, and and from sources on both sides, and then of course everything uh, lately on um, the current administration's uh, son and a laptop. So you can find out what's happening there, and an update as well on some more of the my uh, the migration stuff that's happening. So that's all on marfuglenews.com. This is the stuff. It's either too hot for TV, didn't make the cut. Uh, too political, too far to one side. It's the rest of the story. If you're not going there, you're missing it. Go to the website, take a look, scroll down to that web only content and you'll find it all right there or on YouTube. Just open that description. It's in the first link show notes. By the way, so Jen Psaki and every, uh, essentially the, they're, they are the press. It's funny cause they're like the official reporter for the white house because almost all of them end up going to CNN or MSNBC uh, Jen is now leaving during the laptop thing because, man, what a crappy job that would be. And then another right. thing is, who is going to replace her? Do we know already? Or I, I don't know if they've announced it yet. Um, and But, you know, a lot of people are, you know, some people get all up in arms over this. But if you go back and look, just about every single um, press secretary for the president gets a job in the news industry. It's just, it's it, it's not like there's some conspiracy there it's just it's normal that's what they do they're in that business matter of fact i have a friend who was a press secretary for the department of education and you know she didn't like the job but she took it because it was gave her an opportunity and then she could then use that to then go get you know something that was more appropriate for her, her career which was in the media business and the press business so if she wanted to be in you know so that's that that's not while a lot of people go oh, it's sort of controversial um go back and look from bushes to you know, every other one, they, it seems like every single press secretary, if they're any good, uh, they make it over to a, a major network. So, well, except for the, what was the, uh, uh, who was T man's really, uh, what was her name? The one that's the daughter of the Senator or whatever. <sighs> Huckleby, Huck, Huck. Yeah. Sarah, Sarah, Sarah Huckabee. Huckabee. And she's yeah, on, yeah. she was on, uh, I think she was on Fox for a while. Yeah. So I, yeah. I it's just uh it's just it's funny. They always pick the most like interesting people. Every press secretary ever has like gotten so much crap. I would think it would be like the worst job ever cuz people just pick apart every word. That's why I try to think of when I guess their job is to lie though. That's the thing. Their whole job spin. is to spin and spin every question and it's like maybe jen is like not a bad woman that's the thing people always uh pick on jen and huckabee and all these people when i guess well, the bullseye, it's, i guess right? it's the they fact that they are a, are willing to lie and to spin right it's their job yeah, absolutely it is it is their job and if you've ever you know and most people don't know this but if you've you know i've done this before in the past in a past career where i had to go meet with the press not at a high level, but just meet with the press to interview me ab about stuff that was going on with the company that I was working with, with products, et cetera. And there's a thing called media training and it's a, it's a big deal. And it's, it's a totally different level when you talk about people like her, um, anybody that's at that level of a, of a press secretary, they are extremely skilled or <laughs> they should be at managing the conversation. And they know if you ask a question and they don't like that question, how to divert and move the question back to something that they want to answer. Right? Yeah. yeah. Um, it's, it's pretty amazing, you know, cause I went through a, 
pre, uh, press training class, like, you know, they call it media training. So uh, you can sort of keep you from saying stupid things, right? Like that's the, you know, somebody from a company, they go talk to the press nine times out of 10, they open their mouth when they shouldn't. Right. So they always train people before they put them in front of, uh, in front of a, a bunch of reporters. So, um, but yeah, that's like, is, in don't look skill. up. That's in don't look up. Remember they, yep. they say that, uh, that she needs, or at first he they needed say more media training. he needs more media training. Uh, exactly. And then, then they say to her, like, she, well, she needs some media training. Uh, it's kind of like, so ask me any question, Dex. <laughs> uh, what are your plans for, um, for your, the coming year with Marfugel? So it's, it's not about the plans. It's how did I do this? Okay. You're supposed to like Zootopia. It says that you, the question is, man, what did, what do they do? They make, they turn it into a question. Then they, 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 you, you turn it away and then turn it into your own question. Uh, well, Dex, the real question is, is what are your plans for? Have a good night, guys. Be safe, be prepared, and marf out. It's time for a shout It's not an outro. It's not a shout-out. It's a shout
Everyone I'm gonna bring 